are you doing? Good, thank you. Uh, let me start by saying congrats on the movie. Thank you. Uh, you did a great job. Thank you. Uh, before we get started on this, I want to jump back for, for a quick second. Have you noticed a lot more people coming around to Jennifer's body in the last few years? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. There is a pretty profound resurgence of the film, which is wonderful. Right. So are, when did you first notice it? Because I've definitely seen people really coming around to it. Uh, yeah, probably a couple years ago that the couple, an article came out or a, I'd be asked to do a screening and I like, and it would be a full packed house and oh yeah, yeah, somebody made a musical about it in LA, which is really crazy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> without a doubt. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, one of the things, you've worked with Phil and Matt, the screenwriters, a number of times. Yep. Uh, talk a little bit about the genesis of this project with them and uh, creating a, this great character for Nicole to play. Um, I work now pretty closely with them, and when we agree that we're sort of uh, working on something together, which with Destroyer um, was always sort of the idea, um, and so I get to see the script, or in this case, an outline pretty early, as they've been talking through the themes of the movie and structural ideas of the movie, which was the case for this film, and so they had been talking for close to 10 years about this movie. And so once we sat down, it was a pretty fast process of talking about things I was interested by, things I would want to lean into a little harder, areas that they might want to, had wanted to, to amplify a bit. And then they go off and write. They sent me the script. Uh, I loved it. We went through another couple passes with some input from me in terms of how I saw it directorially. And so we work very, very closely at this point. I would say um, it's a rare thing that I'm just hearing about a project from them kind of out of the blue. We, we, we tend to be in deep communication about a lot now. Um, I, so I'm guessing that then you have other things that you were talking to them about now that I just haven't heard about. Yes, in <laughs> fact, there are. There are some great projects that we're developing together. And one is more of a sort of small studio movie. Um, there are a couple of big, bigger indie ideas that we're working with. Um, and so it's just a question of figuring out what comes next and where we all collectively want to put our hearts. I completely understand. Nicole is tremendous in this movie. Yep. I am just uh, another voice in the wind. You know what I mean? I, I haven't heard anyone say anything other than she's tremendous. Mm. Uh, talk a little bit about your reaction when you first realized or creating the character because uh -huh. she literally disappears. You can't tell it's her. I know, and it's a really, it's a it's a really rare and profound thing to see an actor um, want to go that deep and and disappear. I mean, that is a really interesting thing. I've been I've been doing a lot of press with her recently and and it's it's like I keep looking next to her like, "Oh, right. That's Nicole." Because I never really got to be with Nicole when I was making the movie. I was with Aaron. And uh, it was a really interesting experience to see how deep she went and um how she, she was able to sort of do that with me and alongside me. It was such a, um, it was, I, I have to say, it was one of the most um, magical creative collaborations I've, I've had with an actor. Another thing that's really cool about this is you guys used no sound stages. You no. filmed always on location. Yes. Which is, I know that can add, be ahead, and you're making this on a limited budget. Yes. So it's like you just decided to say, F it, I'm going to make it as hard as I can. Yeah, yeah, we pretty, I, it's funny, because as you were <laughs> listing out those uh, qualities, I was like, wow, it just sounds harder and harder. And yes, it was as if we, we decided to make it as hard as possible a process. Um, but that being said, I think you do gain a sense of what LA actually looks like when you're really driving in traffic and what kinds of neighborhoods you really encounter and how big and sprawling and diverse and sort of crazy it really is. And so that's what we were hoping to communicate was this collision of urban chaos with unexpected beauty and sort of unexpected moments of, of connection or surprise, which I think is this weird um, element of the city. Uh, I really enjoyed the, the bank heist. And uh -huh. I know that you had to do that in a very limited way, like two, three takes. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the challenges of, of filming this bank heist, because mm -hmm. it's all in camera. It's all in camera. And, and, and part of that for me was that um, I knew that if we had to do it quickly, um, 
it made more sense to do it right in camera with with real world effects as opposed to digital effects because actors actors actually have to react to something. They actually have to hear something be loud. They have to feel like they're seeing something eject from weapons. And so that kind of um, you know, reality factor was part of how I think I could achieve the, the sequence in, in my limited means. And um, it made things a little bit more of a nail biter every single day, but, but I think it ultimately lended a really kind of nice, authentic, gritty feel to those sequences. Uh, talk a little bit about the friends and family screenings you did, any test screenings you did, mm -hmm. and what you learned from those that impacted the finished film. Oh, that's such a good question. I, in my friends and family screenings, what I really came to terms with was um, the fact that I had a little too much movie. I mean, I had too much. I, I hope I could say too much good movie, um, but there, there, there were much, much longer cuts. Um, some, you know. It, I would say the first cut started closer to three hours as opposed to two. And it was just because there was so much on the page that, that we did. Can I ask you, with yes. that three hour cut, was it more of an assembly or was it more like, oh, this is a cut of a movie that I, like this is a full on three hour movie. This is, it could have been a three hour movie. There was a way to have made that movie, but that movie was a much more sprawling, even more sprawling exploration of the world of the FBI, the world of the cops around her, um, a little bit more of a sense of who she was on her own as just a, a, a kind of damaged lone wolf living on her own. And what we started to realize was that the balance we needed to strike was between her real world investigation, the sense that we're really watching her uh, hunt this guy down for reasons we don't quite understand as we're watching it, um, along with a sense of emotional attachment to her even when she is a difficult and complicated character. And so finding that balance meant shaving away and pulling away some of the, uh, some of the scenes or sequences that added great texture and great, um, I wanna say, expansion of the world but 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 distanced us a bit from her and we needed to stay connected with her while we also saw her on this investigative journey yeah i have so many follow-ups on the deleted scenes because <laughs> i'm so curious but I, I have such little time i have to bring up something else okay one of my favorite shows of the last few years was halt and catch fire oh great thank you i love hearing that love that show great and you were obviously a part of that yeah. show uh can you talk a little bit about being part of that show and what you loved about working on it you know um Chris Cantwell and Chris Rogers, the creators, are just these, um, the, the sort of new breed of a Hollywood man, in my opinion. They are smart, kind, decent, feminist, just uh, bizarrely cool people who also are super young when I met them. And I was just like, how is this possible? Oh my God, you're so great. And they've remained so great. They've just gotten better um, over the years. and. Uh, for me, the idea that there would be a show that put men and women in the center of this seismic cultural change in all of our lives with first the birth of the home computer and the personal computer, but then also the burgeoning power of the internet. Um, I just thought, man, those guys are really on to something and they were thinking about things sort of two steps ahead of me and so uh, to, to, to feel like they saw what the cultural shift was gonna be or be worth exploring even before before I was able to. I just, at, at their tender young age when they started that show, um, I just respect, respect them so much. I loved working on it. Uh, cool, thank you so much. And again, congrats on the movie. Thank you. And I totally wanna see the deleted scenes. Okay, yes, <laughs> good to know. <laughs>